Alright guys, this is Galak here again for another Rated Galak of the Day. Um, this is going to be discussing Season 3 of Stranger Things. Um, big fan of the series. Um, just finished it maybe, I don't know, three or four days ago. And wanted to think about it, compare it to the other ones. Um, revisit some of the older stuff. And yeah man, I really, really enjoyed this season. I will give this season a 9 out of 10. I gave the first season a 10 out of 10, season 2 probably 8.5 out of 10, and I will give this one a 9 out of 10. So that's my order in um, pleasure in watching um, the series. Uh, there was a lot that they did in this season that I thought was worth discussing or bringing up or bringing to light. Um, for one, um, some of the different older movies from back in the 80s and 90s that they kind of utilized the one that sticks out the most is uh the russian who looked and act just like the terminator from terminator 2 i thought that was hilarious it looked good the guy did a good job playing the role um another one is um the mind flare uh actually kind of taking the role as the blob uh, from that old horror flick, um, you know, melting down bodies into the blob. Uh, obviously, the blob didn't, t uh, you know, form itself into some type of monster. It just stayed as the blob, but they definitely played on that. I thought that was really good. Um, but one of the big things for me um, that stood out the most, um, and it probably hit home because over the last couple of years, um, I've personally dealt with some shit like this, um, even though I'm older um, compared to what these teenagers were, but to show how people grow apart, um, get older, um, things change, things like that, you know, how uh, people are getting into girls and stuff like that in this series, um, you know, at my age and the friends that I had, the group that I had, you know, we obviously were already into girls and relationships, but it got more serious. People are getting married, shit like that, and, you know, they don't really have time for other things like hanging out the same way in the series. They didn't have time to play Dungeons and Dragons and shit like that. They were focused on other stuff. Um, so I think it was a really good life lesson um, that they were trying to put in there because it's real, you know? Shit like that does happen. You know, people change, things change, interests change, and, you know, you just got to respect people for what they want to live for and what they want to do. So I think the, the show did a good job on pinpointing um, that point um, in life. I do love shows that, that actually take life scenarios and situations and put it in the forefront. Um, Supernatural does a really great job of that. I think that's probably why it's one of my favorite shows of all time. It is my favorite show of all time. But nevertheless, um, I think it was great. Um, I did like seeing them older. Um, of course, the whole kid vibe reminds me of it, so I liked it, but them being teenagers kind of gave it a more different vibe and made it feel like they could fight uh, a, a little harder now because they were older and maybe a little more savvy, so it was good. Um, Hopper, probably my favorite character of the series. Um, the way this ended, spoiler alert, it looks like he died. Um, man, bit of a tearjerker at the end of this series, dude. They... They went really hard. Um, I would say the ending of this series was the closest thing I've seen to a not happy ending uh, as Infinity War when Thanos snapped his fingers. Um, and <laughs> it was, I mean, for me, it was a happy ending because I like realistic endings. Doesn't have to be fairy tale. So for me, it was a happy ending. But, you know, all around, if, you know, you're looking for, you know, the fairy tale happy ending. Yeah, this was not it at all, you know. 
Very big tear jerker. <clears throat> Very good dialogue. I love the dialogue. Um, definitely emphasizes the love between a father and daughter. Um, me having a daughter, uh, it really resonated with me. Um, so I thought it was great. Um, so yeah, um, if you've seen any of the other series, uh, any of the of the earlier series from season one, season two, season three is an absolute must watch. Absolute. Um, you know, yeah, you can jump into it if you want um, without seeing it. You'll still enjoy it. But um, I definitely advise, you know, start from the beginning, watch it all. And the character development is fucking awesome. So uh, that's my review. Nine out of ten. Um, they did say that they're doing a season four. They're going to try to push that out uh, sooner than the two year mark that they usually do. Um, so you can expect to see Stranger Things. Uh, season four they did say that it will be the finale of the series so get yourself ready for that last ride with l and the gang and we'll see what happens uh, until next time i go hard podcast we'll have some more shit to talk about peace <laughs>